final minute of the first. Prochetta! The kid from Como who can jump over the lake! Alright guys, I wanted to give a quick update on Prochetta. Uh, right now he's doing well in Germany. The Pistons drafted him in 2022 in the second round. Um, but as of right now, he's a draft stash, meaning Prachita is in the EuroLeague. Uh, he's on a EuroLeague contract and won't join the squad until that deal runs out. Or the Pistons buy out his contract, which I'm hoping the latter happens soon. Um, Prachita is known for causing turnovers and getting out in transition and bringing the dynamite. That has always been something you can expect from him. And look at that, Prochita with the steal. Oh! And goes up for the two-handed rim rocker. So how has he looked recently? Well, in the summer, he played for Italy during the World Cup. Funny enough, he played alongside former Piston Gigi Dottomi. Uh, we used to call him Luigi. I think his actual name is Luigi, now that I think about it. Um, but Prachita had some good experience against NBA-level competition during the World Cup. Uh, it was... It was... Uh, it was funny watching him play against uh, NBA level competition. Um, prime example, he tried to get a shot over Brandon Ingram uh, that got sent to the shadow realm. Procedo gets blocked out of bounds by Ingram. That's the second time he has. Won. And overall, during the World Cup, Prachita didn't look his best. He still had some nice plays, flashing his athletic ability. Plus, of course, he showed up on defense. Uh, but overall, nothing that would say he's an NBA level player. Now, moving on to the EuroLeague regular season, Prachita is looking like an NBA player. An area where he needed to improve was three-point shooting. Last season, he regressed in that area despite having good form on his shots. However, things have changed this season as Prachita is shooting 31% from triple land. Not only is he hitting open shots, he's pulling up off the dribble. He's creating his own shots from the three-point line, pulling up off the dribble. And now Berlin is running plays for him to hit catch and shoot triples. That is exactly what we're trying to see from him. Um, so not only is he getting reps to knock down these threes, he's getting a variety of, uh, of plays. So uh, he's in the isolation, getting his own bucket. He's coming off screens to get triples. And of course, he's just wide open, knocking him down. So like, if he makes the Pistons roster, he'll either be playing shooting guard or small forward. And as we've seen, Cade needs shooters around him at all times. Um, so I feel like Prachita will have no problems playing with Cade uh, if he continues to shoot like this. Combine his outside shooting with his ability to attack the basket, and we have something here. Uh, it's still a long season, but the fact that he's showing these flashes early is a great sign. Hopefully he's able to get even better as the season continues because I want to see Prachita in the league. He's an exciting player. Uh, he for sure has that wow factor, bringing the dynamite whenever he can. Uh, with all that taken into consideration, I think he'd be okay uh, in the league someday. And that was this video. Hopefully we see the Italian Stallion continues to make some noise. To be honest, the Pistons could have used them for the last three seasons, especially with all the injuries. Uh, if we could <laughs> if we could somehow add him like right now, that would be great. Uh, but I don't think that's happening. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, and I'll catch you all in the next one.